Chapter 1, Nursing Today Nursing is an art and a science. As a professional nurse, you will learn to deliver care artfully with compassion, caring, and respect for each patient's dignity and personhood. As a science, nursing practice is based on a body of knowledge that is continually changing with new discoveries and innovations. When you integrate the art and science of nursing into your practice, the quality of care you provide to your patients is at a level of excellence that benefits patients and their families. A variety of career opportunities are available in nursing, including clinical practice, education, research, management, administration, and even entrepreneurship. As a student, it is important for you to understand the scope of professional nursing practice and how nursing influences the lives of your patients, their families, and their communities. The patient is the center of your practice. Your patient includes individuals, families, and or communities. Patients have a wide variety of health care needs, knowledge, experiences, vulnerabilities, and expectations. But this is what makes nursing both challenging and rewarding. Nursing is not simply a collection of specific skills, and you are not simply a person trained to perform specific tasks. Nursing is a profession. No one factor absolutely differentiates a job from a profession, but the difference is important in terms of how you practice. Being professional requires administering quality patient-centered care in a safe, prudent, and knowledgeable manner. You are responsible and accountable to yourself, your patients, and your peers. Health care advocacy groups recognize the importance of the role quality professional nursing has on the nation's health care. One such program is the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation Future of Nursing Campaign for Action. This program is a multifaceted campaign to transform health care through nursing, and it is a response to the Institute of Medicine publication on the future of nursing. Together these initiatives prepare a professional workforce to meet health promotion, illness prevention, and complex care needs of the population in a changing health care system. Because nursing is both an art and a science, Nursing practice requires a blend of the most current knowledge and practice standards, with an insightful and compassionate approach to patient care. Your patient's health care needs are multidimensional and constantly changing. The care you provide should reflect the needs and values of society and professional standards of care and performance. It should also meet the needs of each patient, and integrate evidence-based findings to provide the highest level of care. Nursing has a specific body of knowledge, however, it is essential that you engage yourself within the profession and practice to fully understand and apply this knowledge and develop professional expertise. Critical thinking skills are essential to nursing. When providing nursing care, you need to make clinical judgments and decisions about your patient's health care needs based on knowledge, experience, ethics, and standards of care. Use critical thinking skills and reflection to help you gain and interpret scientific knowledge, integrate knowledge from clinical experiences, and become a lifelong learner. Clinical expertise takes time and commitment. According to Benner et al., an expert nurse passes through five levels of proficiency when acquiring and developing generalist, or specialized nursing skills. These levels include novice, advanced beginner, competent, proficient, and expert. This model emphasizes that expert nurses develop skills and understanding of patient care over time, through a sound educational base as well as a multitude of experiences. When giving care, it is essential to provide a specified service according to standards of practice and to follow a code of ethics. Professional practice includes knowledge from social and behavioral sciences, biological and physiological sciences, and nursing theories. In addition, nursing practice incorporates ethical and social values, autonomy, and a sense of commitment and community. American Nurses Association definition of nursing states, nursing is the protection, 
promotion, and optimization of health and abilities, prevention of illness and injury, alleviation of suffering through the diagnosis and treatment of human response, and advocacy in the care of individuals, families, communities, and populations. The International Council of Nurses' definition of nursing states, nursing encompasses autonomous and collaborative care of individuals of all ages, families, groups, and communities, sick or well, and in all settings. Nursing includes the promotion of health, prevention of illness, and the care of ill, disabled, and dying people. Advocacy, promotion of a safe environment, research, participation in shaping health policy and in patient and health systems management, and education are also key nursing roles. Since 1960 the American Nursing Association has defined the scope of nursing and developed standards of practice and standards of professional performance. The scope and standards of practice guide nurses to make significant and visible contributions that improve the health and well-being of all individuals, communities, and populations. The standards of practice describe a competent level of nursing care. These levels of care are demonstrated by the critical thinking model known as the nursing process model. These components include assessment, diagnosis, outcomes identification and planning, implementation, and evaluation. The nursing process is the foundation of clinical decision making and includes all significant actions taken by nurses in providing care to patients. The American Nursing Association, or ANA, has identified 10 standards of professional performance 1. Ethics, 2. Education, 3. Evidence based practice and research, 4. Quality of practice, 5. Communication, 6. Leadership, 7. Collaboration, 8. Professional practice evaluation, 9. Resources, and 10. Environmental health. These standards serve as objective guidelines for nurses to follow. A code of ethics is the philosophical ideals of right and wrong that define principles used to provide care. It will be important to incorporate the American Nursing Association's Code of Ethics, as well as your personal values and ethics, into your nursing practice. The American Nursing Association has a number of publications that address ethics and human rights in nursing. The Code of Ethics for Nurses with Interpretive Statements is a guide for carrying out nursing responsibilities that provide quality nursing care. It also outlines the ethical obligations of the profession. You are responsible for obtaining and maintaining specific knowledge and skills for a variety of professional roles and responsibilities. Autonomy is an essential element of professional nursing that involves the initiation of independent nursing interventions without medical orders. Accountability means that you are responsible professionally and legally for the type and quality of nursing care provided. As a caregiver, you help patients maintain and regain health and find their maximum level of independent function through the healing process. A patient's health care needs include the patient's emotional, spiritual, and social well-being. As a patient advocate, you protect your patient's human and legal rights and help patients assert those rights when needed. As an educator, your teaching can be formal or informal. Always use teaching methods that match your patient's capabilities and needs, and incorporate other resources, such as the family, in teaching plans. Your effectiveness as a communicator is central to the nurse-patient relationship. It allows you to know your patients, including their strengths, weaknesses, and needs. You will routinely communicate with patients and families, other nurses and healthcare professionals, resource people and the community. As a manager, you will establish an environment for collaborative patient-centered care to provide safe, quality care with positive patient outcomes. Time for a quick quiz. 
Nursing is defined as a profession because nurses, a, perform specific skills, b, practice autonomy, c, utilize knowledge from the medical discipline, d, charge a fee for services rendered. The answer is, b, practice autonomy. Career development. Because of increasing educational opportunities for nurses, the growth of nursing as a profession, and a greater concern for job enrichment, the nursing profession offers different career opportunities. Your career path is limitless. You will probably switch career roles more than once. Take advantage of the different clinical practice and professional opportunities. Case study. Ming graduated with an associate's degree in nursing last year and received his RN credential. He currently works in a long-term care facility. Although Ming enjoys his work and has been promoted to shift supervisor on his unit, he finds that he'd like to pursue a nursing career that offers a regular schedule and more autonomy. Ming considers returning to school for an advanced degree. What are some options open to Ming? Ming's research indicates that accelerated RN to MSN programs are available where he may obtain a master's degree. Career development continued. Most nurses provide direct patient care in an acute care setting. However, as changes in health care services and reimbursement continue, there will be an increase in the direct care activities provided in the home care setting and an increased need for community-based health promotion activities. In the hospital you may choose to practice in a medical surgical setting or concentrate on a specific area of specialty practice such as pediatrics, critical care, or emergency care. Most specialty care areas require some experience as a medical surgical nurse and additional continuing or in-service education. The Advanced Practice Registered Nurse, or APRN, is the most independently functioning nurse. An APRN has advanced education in pathophysiology, pharmacology, physical assessment, and certification and expertise in a specialized area of practice. There are four core roles for the APRN, Clinical Nurse Specialist, Certified Nurse Practitioner, Certified Nurse Midwife, and Certified RN Anesthetist. A clinical nurse specialist is an APRN who is an expert clinician in a specialized area of practice, such as a population, a setting, a disease specialty, a type of care, or a type of problem. A nurse practitioner is an APRN who provides health care to a group of patients, usually in an outpatient, ambulatory care, or community-based setting. NPs provide care for patients with complex problems and a more holistic approach than physicians. A certified nurse midwife is an APRN who is also educated in midwifery and is certified by the American College of Nurse Midwives. The practice of nurse midwifery involves providing independent care for women during normal pregnancy, labor, and delivery and care for the newborn. A certified registered nurse anesthetist is an APRN with advanced education from a nurse anesthesia accredited program. Nurse anesthetists provide surgical anesthesia under the guidance and supervision of an anesthesiologist who is a physician with advanced knowledge of surgical anesthesia. A nurse educator works primarily in schools of nursing, staff development departments of health care agencies, and patient education departments. A nurse administrator manages patient care and the delivery of specific nursing services within a health care agency. The nurse researcher investigates problems to improve nursing care and further define and expand the scope of nursing practice. The nurse researcher often works in an academic setting, hospital, or independent professional or community service agency. Case study continued. Ming is particularly drawn to the idea of becoming an advanced practice registered nurse. 
Ming's career options for becoming an APRN include which of the following? Select all that apply. A. Physician assistant. B. Clinical nurse specialist. C. Certified nurse midwife. D. Certified RN anesthetist. The answers are B, C, and D. The four core roles for APRNs include clinical nurse specialist, certified nurse midwife, certified RN anesthetist, and certified nurse practitioner. Physician assistant is not a nursing role. If Ming decides to choose a career as a critical care clinical nurse specialist, then his specialty is identified by which means? A. Population. B. Setting. C. Disease specialty. D. Type of care. E. Type of problem. The answer is B. Setting. The certified nurse specialist may be identified by a population, a setting, a disease specialty, a type of care, or a type of problem. By choosing critical care, Ming's specialty would be identified by setting. Nursing shortage. There is an ongoing shortage of qualified nurses to fill vacant positions. This shortage affects all aspects of nursing including patient care, administration, and nursing education. With fewer available nurses, it is important for you to learn to use your patient contact time efficiently and professionally. Time management, therapeutic communication, patient education, and compassionate implementation of bedside skills are just a few of the essential skills you need. It is important for your patients to leave the healthcare setting with a positive image of nursing and a feeling that they received quality care. Your patients should never feel rushed. They need to feel that they are important and that their needs are addressed. Historical influences. Nurses have responded and always will respond to the needs of their patients. In times of war, they responded by meeting the needs of the wounded in combat zones and military hospitals in the United States and abroad. When communities face health care crises such as disease outbreaks or insufficient health care resources, nurses establish community-based immunization and screening programs, treatment clinics, and health promotion activities. Patients are most vulnerable when they are injured, sick, or dying. Today nurses are active in determining best practices in a variety of areas such as skin care management, pain control, nutritional management, and care of individuals across the lifespan. Nurse researchers are leaders in expanding the knowledge in nursing and other health care disciplines. Their work provides evidence for practice to ensure that nurses have the best available evidence to support their practices. Knowledge of the history of the nursing profession increases your ability to understand the social and intellectual origins of the discipline. Although it is not practical to describe all of the historical aspects of professional nursing, some of the more significant nursing leaders and milestones are described in the following slides. Florence Nightingale believed that the role of nurses was to help the body recover, and then remain free, from disease. In 1860, Florence organized the first school of nursing, the Nightingale Training School for Nurses, at St. Thomas Hospital in London. Nightingale was the first practicing epidemiologist. She used her keen mind and statistical analysis to show the connection between poor sanitation and diseases like cholera and dysentery. Known as the Lady with the Lamp, Nightingale crossed the battlefields of the Crimean War with her lantern. By improving sanitation in the battlefield hospitals, she showed how effective fresh air, hygiene, and nutrition were in the treatment of wounded soldiers. The practices she advocated remain a basic part of nursing care in the 21st century. The Civil War, fought from 1860 to 1865, 
stimulated the growth of nursing in the United States. Clara Barton, founder of the American Red Cross, tended soldiers on the battlefields. Mother Bickard Ike organized ambulance services and walked abandoned battlefields at night, looking for wounded soldiers. Harriet Tubman was a prominent female in the Underground Railroad movement to free slaves. Mary Mahoney was the first professionally trained African-American nurse. She was concerned with the relationship between cultures and races, and as a noted nursing leader she brought forth an awareness of cultural diversity and respect for the individual, regardless of background, race, color, or religion. Nursing in the community increased significantly in 1893, when Lillian Wald and Mary Brewster opened the Henry Street Settlement, which focused on the health needs of poor who lived in tenements in New York City. In the early 20th century, a movement toward developing a scientific, research-based defined body of nursing knowledge and practice evolved. Nurses began to assume expanded and advanced practice roles. Mary Adelaide Nutting, who became the first nursing professor at Columbia Teachers College in 1906, was instrumental in moving nursing education into universities. As nursing education developed, nursing practice also expanded, and the Army and Navy Nurse Corps were established. By the 1920s nursing specialization began. Graduate nurse midwifery programs began. In the last half of the century, specialty nursing organizations were created. Today, the profession faces multiple challenges. Nurses and nurse educators are revising nursing practice and school curricula to meet the ever changing needs of society, including an aging population, bioterrorism emerging infections, and disaster management, advances in technology and informatics, the high acuity level of care of hospitalized patients, and early discharge from health care institutions require nurses in all settings to have a strong and current knowledge base from which to practice. Nursing organizations and the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, RWJF, are currently involved in programs to support nursing scholars, decrease the nursing shortage, and improve the health of the nation's population. Nursing is taking a leadership role in developing standards and policies to address the needs of the population now and in the future. Contemporary Influences Compassion fatigue, secondary traumatic stress and burnout impact the health and wellness of nurses and the quality of care provided to patients. When health care agencies develop interventions to manage compassion fatigue, secondary traumatic stress, and burnout, nurse retention and job satisfaction rates improve. All nurses require resiliency skills to better manage the stressors. Interventions in the health care agency alone are not enough. Nurses need to be self-aware allowing them to identify their own vulnerability to compassion fatigue, secondary traumatic stress, and burnout. The Affordable Care Act, or ACA, affects how health care is paid for and delivered. There will be greater emphasis on health promotion, disease prevention, and illness management in the future, such as more nursing services will be in community-based care settings, and as a result, more nurses will be needed to practice in community care centers, schools, and senior centers. This will require nurses to be better able to assess for resources, identify service gaps, and help patients adapt so as to be able to safely return to their community. Skyrocketing health care costs present challenges to the nursing profession, consumer, and health care delivery system. As a nurse you are responsible for providing patients with the best quality care in an efficient, and economically sound manner. Unemployment, underemployment and low-paying jobs, mental illness, homelessness, and rising health care costs, all contribute to increases in the medically underserved population. In addition, the number of underserved patients who require home-based palliative care services is increasing.
Trends in nursing The nursing profession will continue to evolve and grow, and so must individual nurses. Your practice needs to be based on current evidence, not just according to your education and experiences in the policies and procedures of healthcare facilities. Quality and Safety Education for Nurses, or QSEN, addresses the challenge to prepare nurses with the competencies needed to continuously improve the quality of care in their work environments. The QSEN initiative encompasses the competencies of patient centered care, teamwork and collaboration, evidence based practice, quality improvement, safety, and informatics. Many emerging technologies have the potential to rapidly change nursing practice. Some of these help nurses use non-invasive, more accurate assessment tools, implement evidence-based practices, collect and trend patient outcome data, and use clinical decision support systems. Genomics is a newer term that describes the study of all the genes in a person and interactions of these genes with one another and with a person's environment. Using genomic information allows healthcare providers to determine how genomic changes contribute to patient conditions and influence treatment decisions. As frontline healthcare providers, nurses practice in all healthcare settings and constitute the largest number of healthcare professionals. When you care for patients, recognize how your approach to care influences public opinion. Always act in a competent professional manner. Nurses are becoming more politically sophisticated and, as a result, are able to increase the influence nursing has on health care policy and practice. Professional Registered Nurse Education Currently in the United States, the most frequent way to become a registered nurse is through completion of either an associate or baccalaureate degree program. Graduates of both programs are eligible to take the National Council Licensure Examination for Registered Nurses to become registered nurses in the state in which they will practice. The Associate Degree Program in the United States is a two-year program that is usually offered by a university or community college. This program focuses on the basic sciences and theoretical and clinical courses related to the practice of nursing. The baccalaureate degree program usually includes four years of study in a college or university. It focuses on the basic sciences, theoretical and clinical courses, and courses in the social sciences, arts, and humanities to support nursing theory. In Canada the degree of Bachelor of Science in Nursing or Bachelor in Nursing is equivalent to the degree of Bachelor of Science in Nursing in the United States. A nurse completing a graduate program can receive a master's degree in nursing. Graduate education emphasizes advanced knowledge in the basic sciences and research-based clinical practice. A master's degree in nursing is important for the roles of nurse educator and nurse administrator, and it is required for an advanced practice registered nurse. Professional doctoral programs in nursing prepare graduates to apply research findings to clinical nursing. Other doctoral programs prepare nurses for more rigorous research and theory development and award the research-oriented Doctor of Philosophy in Nursing. Continuing and in-service education are ways to continue your education. You continue to develop or learn additional knowledge, skills, and competencies necessary for the practicing registered nurse. Continuing education involves formal, organized educational programs offered by universities, hospitals, state nurses associations, professional nursing organizations, and educational and health care institutions. In-service education programs are instruction or training provided by a health care agency or institution. Nurse Practice State and provincial nurse practice X establish specific legal regulations for practice and professional organizations establish standards of practice as criteria for nursing care. In the United States, the state boards of nursing oversee Nurse Practice Acts. Nurse Practice Acts also regulate the scope of nursing practice and protect public health, safety, and welfare. 
This protection includes shielding the public from unqualified and unsafe nurses. Although each state defines for itself the scope of nursing practice, most have similar nurse practice acts. In the United States, all boards of nursing require RN candidates to pass the NCLEXRN, regardless of educational preparation. The examination for RN licensure is exactly the same in every state in the United States. This provides a standardized minimum knowledge base for nurses. Other requirements for licensure such as criminal background checks vary from state to state. Beyond the NCLEX, the nurse may choose to work toward certification in a specific area of nursing practice. Minimum practice requirements depend on the certification the nurse seeks. After passing the initial examination, nurses maintain their certification by ongoing continuing education and clinical or administrative practice. A professional organization deals with issues of concern to those practicing in the profession. In addition, professional organizations present educational programs and publish journals. Specialty organizations focus on specific areas such as critical care, advanced practice, maternal child nursing, and nursing research. As a student, you have the opportunity to take part in organizations such as the National Student Nurses Association in the United States and the Canadian Student Nurses Association in Canada. These organizations consider issues of importance to nursing students such as career development and preparation for licensing. The National Student Nurses Association often cooperates in activities and programs with the professional organizations. Time for a quick quiz. Professional nursing specialty organizations seek to a. improve standards of practice, b. expand nursing roles, c. improve the welfare of nurses in specialty areas, d. all of the above. The answer is d. all of the above. All of these organizations seek to improve the standards of practice, expand nursing roles, and foster the welfare of nurses within the specialty areas. In addition, professional organizations present educational programs and publish journals.